Hello, this is Chad Smith from BC Gurus, and in part two of our site templates module, we're going to be talking about Dreamweaver setup. Now, for this video, we're going to be focusing on Dreamweaver CS6 from the Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, and basically, Business Catalyst is going to be fully integrated within CS6 so that we can import our Business Catalyst sites, create new Business Catalyst sites, and then work with those pages within Dreamweaver. So if you're working with a lower version of, of Dreamweaver, you're going to need to install the Business Catalyst plugin. Um, if you're using CS5, the Business Catalyst window is going to be within Dreamweaver, but it will take you off site so that you can download that plugin and then install it. And then from there, you can work with adding modules to your pages and whatnot. But for this example, we're going to be using CS6. So now that Business Catalyst and Dreamweaver are integrated together, it is easier than ever to import a Business Catalyst site. It'll create all the FTP information that you need, create your site definition. You can download the entire site locally so that you can work on it and then easily upload it back to the live site. So within Dreamweaver, to import a site, super simple, just go to Site, Manage Site, you have a list of all of the site definitions within Dreamweaver. We're going to just going to click on Import an Existing Business Catalyst Site. Then we're presented with another pop-up that has our list of sites that we're currently assigned to. We scroll down to our templates. Let's go ahead and we'll import the Sparky Dog Supply Template. You are automatically going to download the entire Business Catalyst site locally if you leave this checked. Personally, since I developed the sites locally and then I upload those to Business Catalyst, I already have all of my files I need for my Business Catalyst sites. So downloading the entire site again will just put a duplicate of the site on my page or on my computer, which I don't really need. So I'm going to uncheck this and then I'm just going to grab the files as I go and update and then re import into Business Catalyst that way. So from here we can up import site. It's going to ask, where would you like to put the site? I like to create a remote folder, and then any files that I edit are going to be within that remote folder. And then any files that I have currently for the site that are going to be in my regular assets folder that I created when I built the site are going to be left intact, so we're not going to save over those. We'll create a remote folder for all my remote server files. I'm going to save that, then we got here, we've got our Sparky Dog template, Business Catalyst, done. And then it's created the site definition. We just need to hit connect. We'll give it a password. Save password and OK. Now once it's connected, I did forget one step when I created my or imported my site. So if I double click on the definition, you can see I get my site definition screen comes up, you the site name, where it's located. If we go to the server, you can see that this is where my FTP information is kept. So we'll click on that and click edit. And from here, everything looks to be okay. The FTP address, the username, the password, use passive FTP. But what we didn't select is that I want to automatically upload files to server on save. We check that when we bring in a page or a template into our Dreamweaver and we hit Control S or we hit Save, this will automatically upload it to the server once it's saved. If I don't click this, then I have to select the page and either hit Put, which is the up arrow here, or hit, I believe it's Control Shift U to automatically upload the file back up to Dreamweaver or back up to Business Catalyst. So I like to automatically upload files files on save, so I don't have to worry about if I uploaded it after I saved it. So I'm just telling me that I used the same folder for a different site as I was setting up for the video, so we're going to be okay with that. And now if I go into, say, a template folder and open up a template, any edits I do to this, once I save it, will get an automatically uploaded back to BC. Now that was just how to import a Business Catalyst site. 
Let's take a look at the steps to create a business catalyst site. Now once you're in Dreamweaver, you have a few different options when it comes to creating a business catalyst site. So we have business catalyst site here from our open menu. We can go to site, new business catalyst site, or we can go to site, manage sites, and create a new business catalyst site. So plenty of options when creating a new one. Go ahead and hit the button. Now, when you create a new site within Dreamweaver, you're creating a web basic site, and there's no really any way to update that from here. So if you want to create a different type of business catalyst site, like an e-commerce site, you're going to want to do that within your partner portal. But we'll just give this a quick name. We'll call it Zero to Hero Test Site. Give it a nice little URL. Select your country and data center and time zone. Automatically download the entire business catalyst site locally. Again, I don't want to do that. And then create free temporary site. And once that's created, it's going to ask you to choose the, the root folder for it. I will select a different one this time so it doesn't give me any hassle. Chad did this. And I'll just make a, a new remote folder here. Select that. And now we have our new site in our list. Select done. And our site definition is already created. Just need to sign in one time. Save the password. Once it connects to the server, then we'll have our files that we have on our site brand new to Business Catalyst. All right, so now that we got Dreamweaver set up with importing or creating a new Business Catalyst site, let's go ahead and take a look at the Business Catalyst window that's provided within Dreamweaver, and we'll show you how to add modules and tags, get it to the admin of the Business Catalyst site, and then work with the design view of your site. So back within Dreamweaver, I'm going to select a site that has a little bit more content in it than my test site. And then you can see all of my templates are here. And if I open my Business Catalyst window, it's asking me to open a HTML page or template from the existing Business Catalyst site so that we can see all of the options we have within it. So I can get this Bigger? No. Not going to let me. So let's go ahead and we'll open up the home or the about page here. Then you can see we're connecting through our business catalyst window. And then we have all these options and stuff we can add to our page. So if I go to the design view, you can see where our modules are within our page. And if we wanted to add, say, a web form, we just click on the web forms, choose the form you want to add, it's going to insert the HTML code automatically. You can get a preview of it, or we can say insert as a module. Then it'll give you the module tag for that. And then it's added to the page. Probably don't want it above the header. So if we come down to the bottom and then place it down here, it's added just like that. Now, there are certain ones like products that will actually give you a layout option. If you want to do a list of products, specific product, the search form, and the search results form. Well, that's basically going to be all of your tags and layouts you can add to your business catalyst sites. You can also go to the admin section of the site by clicking admin and it'll automatically log you in to your business catalyst site. Another option you can do within the design view of Dreamweaver is here to select a module. Let's say we wanted to edit our frequently asked question module here. We can edit the list template as long as it's downloaded to our local site. And then from here we can go to the data section of our business catalyst window and we can add other tags for this layout. Now along with adding those layouts and editing them within Dreamweaver's page preview in the design view, we can also do it via FTP on the remote server. So if we go back to Dreamweaver, from our files tab here, from our site definition, we have access to all that as well. So if you'd rather just work with the code, we can go into 
layouts and if we we're going to work with our frequently asked questions again we could just open the list view and then add any HTML we want here. Now we still can open up our data tab within the Business Catalyst window to add any tags available for this layout, but that's just another way to get to it. Some of the folder files that we're going to have are pretty much all the layouts we're going to need. We'll close the layouts, we're going to have all of our module templates for social media as far as Facebook and Twitter and then the default menu folder which we will cover in the module menu 2 video for this module. We also have our templates for our site. As you can see we've opened up the phone and tablet templates and then within the system folder here we can get through campaigns for emails and content holders for the site. The last thing I want to touch on for this video on Dreamweaver setup is FTP. So when we're working in Dreamweaver and we've edited a file, we can put the file back to our remote server via this button here. As I said, within the actual FTP settings, if we edit those, we can automatically upload the files to the server on save. And then from the site window, we can put using Control Shift U. So those are ways you can upload the files. If you want to upload a lot of files at a single time, you can find your remote folder, add those files to there, and then re-upload that folder. Or what I would suggest if you're actually going to be uploading a lot of files is to use a third-party FTP client. Now the one that I use here at BC Gurus is FileZilla. It's very simple to use and it's pretty quick. So we can set up site definitions here. So if I wanted to connect to my BCG sandbox, just create a site definition and hit OK. We can hit connect. And then from here I could just drag and drop from my desktop folders here if I want to find where my files are. Or I can drop from any open Windows Explorer window. So if I was going to upload like just a brand new site and I had my, my assets and my photo folder with all the files in them, I would just drop them in from here and then let FileZilla upload them for me. A little easier than going through the remote folder through Dreamweaver and a lot easier than going through the back end of Business Catalyst using the file manager there.